Hi, as I'm sure you know, um, I'm Mr Moon and I'll be your teacher next year. And we will be in this, quite frankly, enormous classroom um, compared to my old one, it looks about three times the size. So I'm looking forward to having some nice space. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a quick story and then I'm going to set you your summer challenge. So my story today is this one called Slug Needs a Hug. Um, and it's got the Laugh Out Loud award. So hopefully it's going to be quite funny. Start with here. So... Once upon a timey, there was a little slimy, spotty, shiny, whiny slug. There he is. He was wet and weedy, very, very needy, and always greedy for a hug. He's going to hug these ladybirds here, I think. His mummy didn't hug him. It began to bug him, and he wondered, why, oh why, is she never snugly? Because I am so ugly, said Sluggy with a soggy little sigh. He's looking at himself there in a puddle. Looks like his face is upside down, but I don't think it is. He spoke to other creatures with very different features and asked them what they thought to do to make himself more huggable. They're slithery and sluggable, but sadly, Sluggy didn't have a clue. To be fair, I wouldn't want to hug a slug. Perhaps if you were furrier and fluffier and purrier, said Kitten, then your mum would hug you tight. So Slug put a woolly hat on with a picture of a cat on and a furry jacket, just in case she might. Very colourful jacket there. You look funny, chummy. If you want a hug for mummy, said Bird, you need some feathers and a beak. And Piglet roared with laughter. Oh, if it's hugs the Slug is after, he'd his trotters and a tail and a squeak. With trotter's tail and coat and beak and feathers, Slug met Goat, who told him that he looked a little weird. He does look a little weird now. I think he wasn't meant to wear all of those things all at once. If you want a hug, my friend, you need horns stuck on the end. Get yourself a handsome goatee beard. Slug did as Goat suggested, and he sensibly invested in some horns and a moustache made out of string. Moth looked aghast and muttered and whispered as he fluttered. Slug, you need some wings, you silly little thing. Where to get some wings from? I think he's going to make his wings out of. Slug made himself a pair that... I think it's a pair of petals of a flower. Slug made himself a pair. He couldn't fly into the air. His wings were scarlet petals from a rose. Although he smelled delightful, Fox declared that he looked frightful and he'd never get a hug without a nose. Should I lose the beak, thought Slug, if I really want a hug? Would Mummy love me more with just a snout? There was very little space to end both upon his face, but Sluggy did in case of any doubt. He's got his beak there, he's got his nose on that side. Slug gazed into the brook at his astonishing new look and barely recognised his own reflection. If she doesn't hug you now, then she never will, said Cal, and she gave the Slug a head-to-tail inspection. Hoping Cow was right, Slug chugged slowly home that night to show his mum his fabulous disguise. But after all he'd done, she didn't recognise her son. Mother, it's me, said Slug. Surprise! But I love you as you are. You're the sweetest Slug by far, said Ma. You have been very greatly missed. You're beautiful and charming. If I could, I'd hug you, darling. But alas, she had no arms, and so they kissed. <laughs> That's a great story. I was wondering where that was going to go, but of course, she didn't hug it because she didn't have any arms. I should have thought that. Okay, so last thing to do then is to give you your summer challenge. Uh, so over the summer, it's quite a simple challenge, but I quite like this. Um, your challenge is to choose any language in the world, anyone at all, and just to learn some phrases in that language. Preferably some phrases that we can use in class. So things like, you know, hello, goodbye. Uh, my name is, things like that. If you learn like random sentences, it might not come up so much, but any language in the world. So it's completely your choice. Um, and then, so when you come back, you can show us a few of the phrases you've learned. Maybe, for example, hello, goodbye, uh, good morning, uh, my name is, what's your name? Simple things like that. Maybe what the weather's like or something like that. So that's your summer challenge, and I look forward to seeing some of those. Um, but if not, I will see you in September anyway, in this fabulous new classroom. 
Um, so I'll see you then. Have a great summer.